Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are once again back on Black Ops Cold War, and I wanted to share with you guys the best class setup for the brand new AK 74U submachine gun. As most of you guys know, this is one of the most popular weapons back in old Call of Duties, and here in Black Ops Cold War, it's just an amazing weapon, just as good as it has been over the years, and it's a lot of fun to use. I think it's going to get a lot more recognition now that the MP5 was finally nerfed. I'm sure you'll see a lot more players running around with this thing so i wanted to share with you guys some really great attachments that you can use on this ak-74u to make it extremely deadly very versatile and overall just a really really great uh, ak-74u build so uh, what you guys are watching right now is just some gameplay of me demonstrate what this specific build is going to play like just so you guys can get an idea and a feel for the attachments before you actually throw them on and run this thing for yourself uh, so without further ado let's jump into the attachments so if you guys take a look at the attachments that we're using, we're not going to be using an optic. This is actually the only attachment we're not going to be using. And I think this is honestly personal preference. So if you like having a quick dot or that mill stop reflex on there, you can throw it on. But I think it's better without one, especially for those of you that like to run and gun, be very aggressive with SMGs. So we're leaving the optic off. The muzzle that we're using is the muzzle break 556. I think this is one of the most popular muzzles for SMGs in this game with a 4% boost to vertical recoil control and no con whatsoever. So again, the muzzle break 556 is the muzzle we're using here. The barrel that we're using is the 9.3 inch extended barrel. This is giving you a 40% boost to bullet velocity, which is obviously gonna help you from distance, which, you know, as most of you guys know in, in here in Cold War, a lot of these guns have no recoil whatsoever and you're able to compete from really long range with an SMG. So the 9.3 extended barrel is a great option to go with as there's no cons here as well. The body that we're using is the Steady Aim Laser. This is gonna give you a 15% boost to hip fire accuracy, which is pretty important with SMGs, as most of you are probably running around the map having a lot of situations where you need to hip fire. Whether you're running around a corner or through a doorway, this 15% hip fire accuracy boost is gonna be useful. So again, the Steady Aim Laser Body. The underbarrel that we're using is the standard foregrip. This is giving you a 15% boost to horizontal recoil control, which I think is more important than vertical. I think in this game specifically, horizontal horizontal recoil control is more important. So having that 15% boost with no con is uh, a really great way to go. So the standard foregrip as the underbarrel. The magazine that we're using is the 40 round mag or the 40 round drum. This is another attachment that I personally think is personal preference. You can kind of go with whatever you want here based on your play style. A lot of these different magazines do hurt your aim down sight speed. So I didn't really want to run anything other than that 40 round drum. If you use the taped mags, you're getting an 18% boost of reload quickness. But with that 40 round drum mag, drum mag because most of your gunfights are going to be uh, up close and personal and you're going to be running into multiple players at a time with obviously playing aggressive with this thing i like having the drum on there and having the 40 rounds so i don't have to reload as often so that's the magazine that we're using here the handle that we're using is the speed tape this is going to give you that 10 percent boost to ads speed which is obviously great with an smg since a lot of your gunfights are going to come out of the blue around corners and through doorways so uh, the 10% boost to ADS is great with the speed tape, so that's the handle we're using. And last but not least, the stock that we're using is the wire stock. So I'm running the wire stock over the tactical stock because of the sprint to fire time. Now, if I was using an AR, I'd probably go with the tactical stock because of the aim walk movement speed. It's a little more important. We're probably going to be ADSing around corners uh, and in specific areas. Whereas with the SMGs, we're kind of just running into the spawns and playing super aggressive. So having the sprint to fire time boost is a little bit more important. So that's why we're rocking with the wire stock here but i give you guys one last look at all the stats and attachments that come with this specific ak-74u build if you guys have any questions or anything else to add about this specific class setup please make sure to leave a comment down below and i'll be sure to get back to you as quickly as i can but i really hope you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see all you guys in the next video